Okay, good. So what the exercise is saying? In May 1945, good. 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 Meter at it releases its uh, payload. So in May 1945, Lancaster bomber bombers were used to drop over 6,000 tons of food supplies to Dutch citizens. The bomber, the bomber. Uh, could cruise at 320 kilometers per hour at an altitude of 4,500 meters as it releases its payload. How long? Yeah. So first, understand the question. Drawing. I have the ground. This is the ground, and I have some plane here. So the plane it is going at the speed of what? Because it is going horizontally, what is the speed? It is 320 kilometers per hour. And it is dropping what? Dropping food. And while dropping it, it will come like this way. So the motion of the, the load, the, the, uh, the payload, it is a parabola. And here we have to, we have to, 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 uh, to study two motions vertical and horizontal so what you said for vertical uh, vertical so vertical close the door the vertical so what are the, the variables for the vertical delta dv v1 v v2 v delta t and a this is the vertical, the horizontal. What we have? Delta dH, horizontal. V1H. What else? Delta T. That's it. V1H, it is equal to v uh, V2H. That's why we are going to take only one. Good. So we are going to plug the information that we get. So the plane here, it is what is the height? 4,500 meters. So what is 4,500 meters? It is what? It is the displacement of what? Vertical or horizontal? Vertical. So it will be here. 4,500 meters down. Why down, not up? Yeah, because the, the, the load is going to come to the to the ground. What other information we have? What other information we have? What is about V1V? What is the speed of the the load initially? Zero because it is not going down. It is ground, so zero. Of the load vertically. Vertically, because the load it is not going up, it is not going down, it is going with the plane, and the plane is going horizontally. So the load initially it is going horizontally. There is no, uh, no vertical. What about the a? Nine eighty one meter per second square down. Okay. What about three hundred twenty kilometers per hour? What is that? The velocity, the horizontal velocity, it will be here, 320 kilometers per hour. But what we can do, and here it is, forward. Because we don't know it is going east or west, we don't know. So it will forward. But we have to put it in meter per second. So what you put it in meter per second, what you find? So we have to divide by 320 divided by 3.6. What? 88.8 .8 meter per second. This is all the information that we get. Now we are going to go to the questions. What the first question it is what? How long would it take the supply to hit the ground? So what we are looking for? The time. So what formula we're going to use? So I'm going to, 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 to erase this one that I'm going to do the answers here. So A answer or solution. So which formula you used? First one. Hmm? First one. The first one. The first one, what it is saying, 
delta dz equal v1 v delta t plus a half a delta t squared. What is delta dv? We know it. It is what? 4,500 meters down. So what we can put here? What are you going to put? It is down. Negative. negative. 4,500 meters because it is negative. It is down. What is V1V? It is zero. Times delta T plus a half. What is A? Eighty one meter per second squared times delta t squared. Okay, delta t squared. So now I'm going to do some cleaning. What is zero times delta t? Zero. So I'm going to put it zero here plus a half minus nine eighty one meter per second squared delta t squared, and I have minus five four five meters. Okay, I do some cleaning also here. I have times minus 9.81. Uh, it gives you what? The zero hole, we have to drop it because zero, it is zero. It, that, it, that, it does nothing. So minus 400, 4,500 meters equal what? Minus 4 dot uh, what? 9.05. When you divide it by 2, delta t squared. Okay, this one it is meter per second squared if you want. <clears throat> okay, so what we have to do now? How? Yeah, you have to solve for delta t squared. So what operation I have to do here? Is the math grade 9 this one? No, we are solving for delta t. We are going to divide by 94905 divided by minus 4.905. I'm not sure that okay. I'm going to do it here 9.81 divided by 2 gives me what? Yeah, it is it. Yeah, so you put it negative. Wait, what did you do? No, no, I did nothing. Negative 4500. You divided by negative 4.905. Excuse me? This one here? Minus 4.900. You, you multiply this one by this one. I have multiply this half with the number. That's it will give you. So it gives you delta t squared equal 917. I square root everything delta t will be now uh, square root of what i found so i'm going to my put a square root square root of the answer it gives me 13.28 or, or 29 30.29 seconds did you find the same it's not 4000 it is four dot you see you missed the dot okay Good. Are you okay? Good. So here I found, yeah, continue. And now how many digits I have to keep? You just divide, you don't divide over the T. No. Yeah. And here I have two digits. They gave me two digits here. 320, I have two digits, significant digits. And I have here two significant digits, so I have to keep two. So this one, it will be 30. So delta T, finally, delta T equal 30 seconds. Yeah. Divide, well, you are in the right track. This one here, it is delta T equal. Yeah, this one. And square rooted, yeah. Delta T squared equal, yeah, 1017. This is what I find also. Good. Square root, 
and you find delta t good and this is uh, for this one <coughs> how far would the supply travels horizontally yeah 30 seconds you understand so we go now to the question b i'm going to oh that's one see here i'm going to leave only the information that we get okay with another color b what is b how far will the supply uh, travel horizontally after being released from the plane what they are asking here what do you want to find Displacement. Which displacement? Horizontal or vertical? Horizontal because I have a plane here. I have the the ground here. So the load will will end up here. So from the lunch, it will end up far from the lunch. So we want to find the delta. So, but we have the time, thirty seconds. And then we have the formula. What is the formula? Delta d h equal what v one h times delta t so delta d h will give us uh, 300 it is 88 dot 8 time uh, meter per second times the two second and they do my calculation here with my calculator this one times 88.8 it gives me 2689 or 2690 2690 meters since i have to keep only two digits delta dh it will be 2700 meters this is what it will travel Continue by yourself, you are going to find all everything because I am recording here, so we don't want to, to the, the video to be too long. That's why I am a little bit ahead on. Yeah, what is the formula? Delta dh. You have it. Ah, I give it to you another way. Or vh, yeah, and you do the cross products, yeah. Yeah, I give you the formula like this one vh equal delta dh divided by delta t good good plug the numbers that you have good meter per second equal delta d dh divided by delta t and delta t it is good good i do cross products and i find my delta d you must find the same as i find here mm. are you okay now it's here you were you you were stuck I just need the formula for the first one. Ah, but the, for, the, for the first one, it is the first one that you... Yeah, because I forgot that the, the other, this T cancelled between the Excuse me? I forgot that the T here and the zero... Ah, like uh, zero cancels everybody. Okay, zero times delta T, it is zero. Okay. And uh, what else? What velocity will, will the supply have as they hit the ground? Okay. So follow what you find? Yeah, this is there. Yeah, and you have to round it. You have to round it because you have to keep only two digits because uh, significant digits. The well, it's a whole number. I mean, like it's not just one. Yeah, but you have to take only two digits. You have to to round it to the to the digits. You have to round it to here, to the sixth. Twenty-seven. Yeah, yeah, twenty-seven. Two thousand seven hundred. Yeah, meters. Yes, you have to keep the zeros. Okay, meters. Understand? Good. Forward, because the, the displacement, it is, uh, you have to put uh, forward. Because displacement is a vector, you have to put forward. We have to give the direction of the vector. Okay? Displacement is a vector. Are you okay? Now, look, we are going to do this one together because I think I didn't do it with you. So we are going, you are not going to know how to do it. We are going to do this question C here. So what question C is saying? Yeah, so follow me here. What velocity will the supplies have as they hit the ground? 
So we have the ground here. We have the ground. And we have a plane here. It is dropping some charge. It comes here. Before, when it will hit the ground, it will crash on the ground. So we want to know with what speed or the velocity here it will hit the ground. So here what we have to find. Ah, we find that already delta t, delta t it is 20, uh, 30 seconds. So we have to find the delta the v 2 v. So how going to find the 2v? Which formula you are going to use? To find v 2 v, give me the formula. Which one? You know the v1, you know delta t, you know the a, you know a lot of things. So which formula will give us v2? We are going to use the second one. V2V equal V1V plus A. We are trying to find the, the, the V2V. This one here. V2V. How do you know what's that? Because we want to, to find the velocity. This is what they are saying. Yeah. We have to find the velocity. We have to find the vertical velocity here. Understand? Okay, so we are going to find the velocity, so V to V equal, follow me here, we are going to write it like, you understand, what is V1 V, it is 0, plus, what is A, negative, negative. times what, times 3. 3, so what is two V V to V, so do me this calculation here, it is only calculator, minus 981 times 30, Uh, negative what? 294. 294 meter per second. Since I have minus here, what I'm going to do, this is it's up. Huh? So V2V, it will be what? 294 meter per second down. But this one, it is not the total velocity. It is one part of the velocities. Why? Because our load has two motions. He has a horizontal motion and he has a vertical motion. Yes, but it is not adding. It is a vector adding. So this is what I told you to, 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 to look what I'm going to do. So I'm going to raise here. We find what V2V. What is V2V? What is V2V? 294 meter per second down good okay so here we have to find the total velocity the real velocity this one it is a velocity but vertical the other one it is horizontal but they are not the real velocity the real velocity we are going to draw it now look how we do it first i'm going to to draw a neuro horizontal this is the horizontal velocity what is the horizontal velocity here? 88.8 .8 meter per second. And they have the vertical velocity. From here, I have to put the vertical velocity. But the vertical velocity, it is up or down? Down. So I have to put it here, down. And this one, what is this one here? It is 294 meter per second. What is my velocity, the one that I'm looking for? It is here. The red one. That's the total? That's the total. But it's only one. Oh, you need to find it all? Yeah, this one, I, yeah, you have to find this one to find this one here. So I'm going to find this one here. It is mathematics here, grid 9. I have a right angle here. With low, I'm going to write. Pythagoras, c squared equal e squared plus b squared. This is the c that I'm looking for. This is grade 9. Are you okay? So c squared equal what? What is a? 88.8 meter per second. No, it doesn't matter. Plus 294 meter per second squared. Doesn't matter which one it is a, which is b. But C, it is matters. It is always the hypotenuse. So do me this calculation and give me what is the C. Good. 
<coughs> so what is this called? I'm going to do it also here. Uh, okay, so we find it. You square root it. Square root what you have because I want to have C directly. I don't want to. So what is C? Equal and square rooted, square rooted, square root the answer. Yeah, square root. Yeah, put square root the answer. And you put it. So it gives you what? 307, 307 meter per second. So this is the true speed. This is the, 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 the. if it hits somebody, I hope no, this is what he will feel. 307. So 307 meter per second so the ground this is the speed that it will fill okay yeah we find it now the speed but not uh, the velocity but the velocity is a vector and we said what is a vector a value and what and the direction we have to find direction so what direction we have to find we have to find an angle the direction all, all, always it well, is but in this case you can't okay in this case you can't that's why we have to find this angle here so how we're going to find this angle with the tangent okay so this angle i'm going to call this this point a so we have to find the angle a so i'm going to raise this one here how are we going to find the angle a the tangent so the tangent the angle a i'm going to give it to give you the formula a equal tangent minus one of v v divided by v h always the vertical speed for the for finding the angle the measurement of the angle you can't use cosine yeah it is always good to you can use cosine sine if you want <coughs> sorry but it is better to use the tangent since you have the 307 usually we use the tangent so the angle we use always the tangent to find the angle and you are right you can use cosine or sine since we find the uh, but usually we, we, we use the tangent the angle the yeah it is the direction it is the because the vector what we said it is a value and the direction the value will find it with the Pythagoras theorem and the value and the vector we have to find it with the tangent so it will give us here tangent minus one what is V of V? It is 294 divided by 88.8. .8. And I will find the angle. So find me the angle. A tangent, yeah. V over V. Yeah, VV. Vertical velocity. Or, yeah. Divided by horizontal velocity. And find me the angle now. Put tangent minus 1, all that stuff. Yeah. Nine for uh, two hundred ninety-four divided by eighty-eight point eight. I'm going to do it also with my calculator. A tangent. I'm going to for two ninety-four divided by eighty-eight point eight. Seventy-three degrees. So the direction it is what it is, and now my speed or the velocity. How I'm going to say it? You understand the angle? The angle it is seventy-two. Ah, from here, since this one it is horizontal, okay. Uh, I'm going to erase everything. We didn't. Uh, what would have been attached to to supply to prevent them from? Okay, parachute. So here, the velocity now, and you're going to put the v2. Look here. Ah, okay. I'm going to go back. Okay, I'm going to leave this one here. Now I'm going to erase everything. Uh, I'm going to erase this one here. Now we're going to write V2 equal. Look, I didn't write V2V or V2H. Why? Because this is the true velocity. But this one, it is the component of this one. That's why I put T, I don't put V or H. Because it is the true velocity. I put the number 3 or 7 meter per second. And you can put, for example, you can see this one as East. 
and this one as south you can put it like this one here uh, like the way east 73 degrees south ah because if you took this one east this one it is what it is south and this one it is what north and this one it is what west so my vector it is between what and what east and south my vector here the red one that's what i put it between east and south and they put the angle Wait, the, vector of, um, the, red line? the red line that we are looking for the red line it is our vector it is the v2 so why this is it east? for example excuse me ah oh, because I, I assume that it is east you can assume it is it is uh, west for example it can't be north or south because the plane it was going so it goes uh, east or west you see but you can assume okay you can put it another word for example in if you don't know you can put it here 307 meter per second and you can put it 73 degrees down you can put the board so down so uh, it's like i'm going down okay 73 down it's like this one uh, and you can put it here horizontal but this one here more more accurate you can write up uh, i assume that the plane is going east and it's uh, and uh, and this is okay is there another uh, uh, yeah it can be north or south or so can be north or south but it can't be up or down you can say you now nor or as it, it depends you can you can take one one of them the all uh, here it is up and this is down here okay uh, yeah this one it is more accurate 73 down because it is down it is not north no okay do you understand what we did okay so i'm going to uh, to upload this one on uh, on youtube and that's it it is this one this one it is yeah it is not correct but here it must be down here east 73 degrees down okay because up or down it is uh, and you are down here so i can see this one more accurate but for now you have to understand the difference between the true velocity and the component of the velocity the component hmm? Ah, because we are looking for the the end here. We are not looking for the, the the start. If it was in the start, you are right. You are going to do also v1 horizontal, v1 vertical, and we do the same. But we are, why we are doing it for v2? Because we are doing in the end, and for us too, it is in the end. Are you okay? Okay. We didn't see vectors right now. Okay. Uh, what I gave you, I gave you what we need. But then we're going to see the vectors. We're going to see how we add vectors, how we find the directions of the vectors. Uh, for now, uh, take what I did here. But uh, in, the, uh, in the next unit, yeah, yeah, in the next lesson, we're going to do the vectors, the direction of the vectors, and how we, we find the directions. We're going to, to revisit all, all that stuff. But for now, I, I think it is enough for you to, to understand that. Do you have any other question? No. Okay, so I'm going to stop here.